Okay, these are some of my favorite maps. So um, I already showed you in the visual visualization page how we can look at crashes and near misses but through time. So this is like along the x-axis, you have 24 hours here. And then this shows um, the crashes and the, the near misses. But the black line over top is a, um, it's an eco counter. So they're like, um, there's tubes underground. And when, and as you ride over, it counts you continuously. So this is one continuous counter for um, the city of Victoria, where these data are from. So you can see kind of the volume of bikes that are out at different times of day. So you see, for instance, that at eight o'clock in the morning, yes, the volume of bikes is high, but the number of incidents is even higher. It's like there's a lot more than what you see at 1600 or four o'clock, where you also have like just a slightly higher volume of vehicles and the collisions and near, near misses are high, but they're not as high. Whenever I see this graph, I always think that people need to drink more coffee in the morning before they head out. Maybe that's the difference. Just kidding. The actual difference is that um, the mornings just tend to be a little bit more congested. Like the, the, everyone's trying to get their kids to school at the same time, for instance, but the times that we, um, the rush hour in the afternoon is just a bit more dispersed. But it is important when you study safety to always think about not just the number of incidents that you have, but also the number of people that were exposed. It's just like in COVID, when you see kind of count data, like this many people are have contracted COVID, it's, it's more useful often to look at the rate. So you wanna have the count divided by the population. And in bicycling work, the number of people bicycling is the population. This is, um, similar to the first one, but instead of looking at just crashes and near misses, we can look at injury. So blue is it was a near miss or no injury, green required a doctor and red required hospitalization. So you see again that that morning peak is, it's not only just the biggest, but it's also when the most serious injuries are occurring. And then we can also look at what kind of infrastructure people were on. So for example, again, in this morning peak, you see like a, a high proportion of these are incidents that occur on busy streets, the red, busy streets with no bike facilities. Um, so I think just from map data, you can get a lot of information about not just where things occur, but also what's happening. That 